And basically, I want to talk about the idea behind a series of videos I've been thinking about making for quite some while now. Um, so I've had some experience uh, in graduate school with, you know, making science or m more like being around people who make science, um, who make science happen and who do scientific research. And I've been really passionate about science for uh, quite a few years now. Um, the, the point I, I, I want to make in this video is about my approach to what I'm going to be doing in this series of, of videos that I plan to do. And it has a lot to do with making mistakes. Um, so, for example, this is my first Twitch video ever, and I, I just decided to sort of dive into it at first. No reservations, just go ahead and make all the mistakes I, 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 can, I can make. Uh, mainly because my plan here is to, uh, as they say, to fail early and often. And uh, I think one of the things I want to achieve with these series of videos is to um, hopefully build an audience who will, you know, criticize my work, give me uh, positive feedback as well as negative feedback so I can improve on, on things um, that I do. Maybe, I don't know, the way I talk or maybe uh, I'm too redundant or I take too long to make a point and I want people to point that out for me so that I can become better at this after enough iterations. So um, I, I guess I'm just going to start off with a couple of quotes I found online that I, I want to take as an inspiration for the beginning of my series of videos. And this, uh, this series is going to be mostly about me just sort of randomly trying to implement algorithms for uh, generating computer graphics. So I, I have this, I, this sort of a passion for drawing things with numbers and algorithms. And um, so the approach I'd like to give to this activity has a lot to do with the way Richard Feynman expressed himself uh, with regards to his craft, which was science, uh, it, which holds some relationship to what, I'm, to what I want to do, but not quite. I, I kind of want to delve into the intersection of science and art like i want to make i want to make pretty drawings using computer science so there's that that mixture of things that i'm not really aiming for anything specific like richard Feynman maybe uh try to achieve by discovering new aspects of nature by doing experiments but there is some of that methodology involved in what i'm i'm going to try to do because within the restraints of computer science and mathematics um, there's a sort of craft that you have to, de to develop uh, correctly in order to be able to achieve beauty in, in uh, computer-generated graphics. So uh, basically, the, the point that I, I'm trying to get to here is I'm going to be making a bunch of mistakes. Uh, and I, I'm going to be making them really often, and some of them are prob probably going to be very embarrassing and very out there for everybody to see. But the point I want to make is it's okay to make mistakes. It's like I, I want to not be embarrassed of making mistakes. I want to even be proud of making all the mistakes I can possibly make in front of all the people who can, you know, watch me do them. Because uh, in the... Um, in the measure that I, I, I make these mistakes and and get found out by other people, uh, I'm going to find people who are going to want to help me. So the idea here is that I'm going to improve by making as many mistakes as I can, as early and as often as I can, as they say. Uh, so here's a quote from Richard Feynman. And, and he said a lot of things along these lines. Like he's, I remember vaguely a video about him explaining... Uh, something about a monkey trying to trying to get a sort of a 
a decoy from a trap or something like that. I don't remember. Something about a, a monkey making mistakes over and over and finally getting things right. And that he saw himself as that monkey uh, who was trying to get something right uh, by making the same mistake or similar mistakes over and over. And like in this school, he says, as I get older, I realize being wrong isn't a bad thing like they teach you in school. It's an opportunity to learn something. And I think that's very true. It's like nobody really starts off life by being right about everything. And you, it's not something you should be ashamed of. Uh, and there's actually, I want to also like make an argument about mistakes, not only as a personal methodology for what I'm going to try to be doing in my, in my channel, but also as uh, something that's actually very important in science itself like um, in, in the history of the scientific method as of today. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, that in a minute, but I wanted to, to uh, go through, through the quotes first. Also, you have no responsibility to live up to what other people think you ought to accomplish. I have no responsibility to be like they expect me to be. It's their mistake, not my failing. Right. So I'm not really sure if Richard Feynman actually, you know, said all these things. It sounds like him, though. It does sound like him. Um, but uh, you know how the Internet sometimes misattributes quotes to people who never really said those things. But it doesn't really matter much. I mean, the phrase stands for itself. It's like uh, you don't owe anybody anything, you know, just go ahead and do your thing. Don't worry too much about what other people think or say. Um, as long as you're improving, I guess. As long as you're getting better at what you do. Uh, and this one I really like. Study hard what interests you the most in the most undisciplined, irreverent, and original manner possible. So as you can see, I'm not really being professional here. And I think that's deliberate. I mean, it's actually quite deliberate on my part. Like, I don't, I want this to be sort of my own thing, my own project that I do you know, the way I wanted to, to do it. So I'm not really preparing this to look pretty for anybody or to, you know, I'm just following my natural process, my natural artistic creative process raw, like, you know, the way I really do things in real life. Also, because I think programmers, you know, a lot of people in programming, they will do things, but when they create videos for YouTube, or when they, uh, you know, they, they edit them and they gentrify everything and they make it look like, you know, like they don't make any mistakes. They uh, edit out all the mistakes and all the bad parts and they just keep the, the good things where they look really smart doing things on, on the first try and that stuff. And that's not really how it happens. Like there's no, I have not seen so far a single recording of the mistakes programmers usually make and I think that's that's very valuable information like that's something that could really help people understand how to avoid bad practices like if you if you had like a, a really large database of common programming mistakes done live you could really learn a lot about the craft of doing you know computer programs and all that stuff and so I think that's partly what I want to do. I want all those negative results, all those mistakes, all those bad parts. I, I want to show them like naturally just how they are honestly to the world so that we have or I have a more like a, you know, a reference, a point of reference to do. Of course, maybe later on I'm going to curate all, all, the, all the stuff that I that I upload online. Like I'm, I'm going to the idea behind what I'm going to do is I am going to make a bunch of videos full of mistakes and errors and, and you know, uh, just bad things. And then out of a series of videos with all those mistakes, I, I'm going to craft like a single video maybe every week or every couple of days or maybe even every month, which is going to be like the curated version of all the previous videos full of mistakes which is the successful part of everything I did. But I'm going to keep the videos with their mistakes because I, I want to go back and study my own process, you know, and correct it and make it better each time I do the same thing over and over. So that's the idea behind this. So it's kind, kind of like a behind the scenes of a regular uh, 
you know, programming channel, streaming channel, uh, but combined with a, with a like, uh, normal computer programming streaming channel. Like, y you're going to get the, the actual video, the final product, but also you're going to get, like, all the behind the scenes that happened before the, the last thing. And I think that's, that's what's going to make my project, like, really original and interesting. Like, all the mistakes are going to be there for everyone to see. Um, also, ben Bertrand Russell says, the whole problem with the world is that fools and fanatics are always so certain of themselves and wiser people so full of doubts. So this is really important. Like, you know, you hear a lot of people who are really certain about what they're talking about. And then you sort of question them or, you know, you get to really know what they're what they're about and you find out that they're not really all that certainty is really you know nobody can really be that certain in real life like in real life people who are really smart and intelligent they're full of doubts like they don't know that's why they go and find out things that other people didn't see because they don't just uh go with the flow and assume that they really know the thing that they think they know they ask more questions. They go one step further. You know, maybe I'm not really sure about this. Let me check twice, right? And then they discover something really important or really beautiful. So the idea is uh, I, I want to take this humble attitude towards knowledge that I don't really know everything. Like, I probably don't even know, you know, as much as I think I do. I just assume that I'm ignorant and sort of, sort of start from that point and start asking questions about things that I maybe even assume that, that I know, but I don't really know. So I, this is a really important phrase right here. Um, and like I said, I wanted to talk about uh, this problem in, in current uh, science, like uh, in the, the history of science te teaches us that there's this thing called publication bias. And I'm just going to read this out loud. It says, publication bias is a type of bias that occurs in published academic research. It occurs when the outcome of an experimental research study influences the decision whether to publish or otherwise distribute it. Publishing only results that show a significant finding disturbs the balance of findings and inserts bias in favor of positive results. The study of publication bias is an important topic in meta-science. Okay, so this, this is a really important part. It says that publication bias occurs when the outcome of an experimental research study influences the decision whether to publish or otherwise distribute it. And this is what I've been talking about since the beginning of the video. Uh, so uh, what it says here is that people just edit out all the mistakes, you know, science uh, researchers, they they cut out all the mistakes and they, they pretend like they never happened. And they will only show you the times when the experiment worked. So, for example, let's take, I don't know, uh, Edison and the light bulb. You, you don't really see a lot of information about all the failed attempts that he made at uh, creating a light bulb. Uh, because that's not interesting. So, obviously, people are not going to want to see that. So all that information, all that methodology that he, which, which is supremely important because how did he get to the final result if not by making a thousand mistakes before it? So it's really important information, which nonetheless, for some absurd reason, you know, publication bias gets thrown out. It just gets thrown, thrown away and you never see how people got to their successful uh, selves by making all the mistakes that they made. So uh, this is an actual problem in science. Like scientists shelve their unsuccessful experiments or uh, quote unquote unsuccessful, you know, and even though they show us how not to go about doing things, right? So it's really important information that gets thrown out. And I'm trying to sort of salvage some of that in my creative process as I go through the methodology of uh, creating computer animations and uh, you know, maybe even improvising a little bit uh, on what I'm planning to do. Because uh, to be really honest, I don't really have like a program uh, set in my mind, uh, which is something that I kind of want to do on purpose. Because sometimes I get bored of doing like things that are already laid out in front of me, which can be relaxing as well. But, you know, sometimes I just want to go wild and sort of, you know, run into the wilderness of algorithms and equations and sort of come out with something really nice to show everyone. 
Um, but you know, it's a process that's necessarily full of going to be full of mistakes and um, full of uh, you know full of errors. So anyway, this is a really interesting uh, Wikipedia article. I really recommend you read it uh, if you want to know something that's you know happening in science today. It's not, it's not just some weird, wild idea, you know, that I came up with that's disconnected from reality. This is actually pro a problem in science labs all around the world. So uh, I'm trying to, basically, I'm trying to fight this assumption that only positive results are important. And I'm trying to use that methodology and mixing, mixing it with art, you know, to sort of come up with this uh, wild new creative methodology that I want to put in practice and show everybody just to see, just to see how it works, you know, just to keep uh, entertained. Um, because I, I really want to like do this, uh, have fun like this. I, I wanted to for quite a long time. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting. And um, I guess, I guess I'll let you pick a little bit on what I have in mind. Uh, for for the time being, it's, it's this. I had I have a bookmark here that I want to show you all. So this is a Wikipedia category, which where I'm gonna get some, gonna be getting some of my ideas for the show, and uh, basically it's a bunch of computer graphics algorithms, and these are like, like really. Um, how could, could I describe these things? They're, they're like really abstract, uh, isolated uh, graphics algorithms that only do like a single thing. Like for example, this algorithm here, it shows you the math to draw just a line. So it's just a, a, like a really isolated aspect of what you can do on a picture, uh, on a pixel, collection of pixels. Um, this is something that would like help you draw sort of a psychedelic cloud or something. So now you can sort of code this and the other the other algorithm and come up with something that's like a mixture between the two. But of course, that would require some sort of mathematical uh, artistry or creativity to uh, kind of come up with something that sort of mixes the two things, uh, maybe. So that's something that I might want to do you know like you start thinking oh I now I know how to make, draw a line and how to draw a cloud um, and now let's put the two of, of them together like I don't know maybe let's draw a line which serves as a kernel for the beginning of sort of a cloud pattern or something like that I don't know and basically you know just take a wild idea like that and let it grow on its own and sort of just you know, start fiddling with the code and changing the numbers and the magnitudes until you come up with something, you know, really trippy and, and nice to show. Um, so this is just an example. This is just one source of algorithms I, I, I've looked at. I've also been uh, kind of scraping uh, web, web pages, really old web pages from universities and stuff. Like, for example, this one over here. I, I love this these pages with uh you know like zero style design like this gets me really nostalgic for web 1.0 and so the idea here is you know you look at these things and they show you like this sort of code and what I want to do sometimes is just like take this and you know modernize it make it into JavaScript so I can port it to every browser in the world and everybody can see all these beautiful things that people do like beautiful minimalistic uh, really old school uh, graphics just out there just you know waiting to get revived by somebody and so yeah that's like my passion right now like this is what I, I kind of want to learn how to do and you know a mar marble pa pattern that's beautiful right there so yeah, uh, I, I, I'm getting a, a bit uh, ahead of myself because this video is supposed to just be about the, you know, the introduction to what I want to do. And I guess I already accomplished that. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. Uh, you know, the, the first couple of videos are going to be just me randomly trying to punch, punch in some lines of code and trying to come up with, you know, like these graphics probably getting into trouble and failing over and over until somebody helps me out or I find out how to do it myself. 
Uh, but in the end, uh, I promise I will have a finished product where I'm just gonna, you know, make it seem like I didn't do any mistakes and just show the final product, the, the working code and everything. Uh, because that's also useful, you know. I'm not saying, like, mistakes are the only important thing in the creative or the scientific process. Mistakes are a big part, but, you know, you want the reward as well. You, you want the... Uh, the final product, so people can just go maybe and see, oh, so this works, I, I just wanna see it working, you know? I don't care about all the previous mistakes. Some people might care, some people might not care. But the idea is to also have that part in my in my uh, Twitch channel and also my YouTube channel, because I'm gonna be uploading all these videos on YouTube as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll be streaming another one soon. I'm gonna try to stream every night but I'm not making any promises. Uh, I'm currently studying at Microverse, a uh, coding bootcamp, a, a school for web developers. And so I'm not sure I'm gonna have time every night, but I'm gonna try to squeeze in at least an hour every every day for this. So uh, keep, keep checking out my Twitch and my Twitter for announcements on my channel and my, my uh, coding project. And thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.